Hello everyone and welcome to Barca News. It's July 17th, 2022 and Barcelona have arrived in Florida ahead of their preseason American tour. Now Xavi is not with the team because he has been denied entry into the country. Also, Barcelona are currently preparing their first official offer for Sevilla's Jules Koundé and Manchester United have increased their offer for Frankie de Jong. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone, my name is Mo and I created this channel so it can be a one-stop shop for all Barcelona fans where they can come here and get the latest news regarding FC Barcelona. Whether it be transfer rumors, injury updates, post-match analysis, or anything else, you will find it here. So I invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news regarding our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Now I'll begin with the news that Barcelona landed yesterday in Florida after a nine hour flight from Barcelona. Now the team had their first training session today in the morning and then we'll have a second training session later in the day ahead of their first American preseason match against Inter Miami that will take place on Tuesday. Now the team is currently without their coast coach Xavi Hernandez who was denied entry into the country because of a prior visit to Iran. Now Xavi, while he was a coach of the Qatari team Al Saad, he traveled to Iran on an AFC Championships League duty and because of this uh, the United States immigration, immigration authorities have flagged his passport and have denied him entry. Now this is something that happens very common here in the U.S. Since there are no diplomatic ties between the U.S. and Iran, immigration, American immigration authorities usually flag uh, visitors who have gone to Iran first and then they're trying to enter the country and they usually do further investigation. Now the club has announced that they expect this problem to be solved and they expect Xavi to join his team tomorrow, Monday, July the 18th. Now another person who will be joining the team pretty soon is our newest signing, Robert Lewandowski, who should be joining his new teammates today, Sunday, the Jul July the 17th. Now Lewandowski is expected to perform the entire tour with his new teammates and Juan Laporta wants Lewandowski to start against Real Madrid in the Summer Clasico that will take place in Las Vegas. Now the USA tour is expected to net Barcelona 10 million euros and given the club's current financial situation this is of course great news. Well now that Barcelona have wrapped up the signings of Rafinha and Robert Lewandowski the club will be turning their entire attention on the next operation which is to sign Sevilla center back Jules Koundé. Now it's reported that Barcelona will be preparing the first official offer and this offer is expected to go out this upcoming week as soon as tomorrow, Monday, the July the 18th. Now as I reported in yesterday's video, which I will leave the link for down below in the description in case you want to check it out, Jules Koundé has reached a personal agreement with Barcelona and both parties have agreed on all the terms of the contract including the player's salary and the length of the contract. Now Barcelona will now direct their entire attention to try to reach an agreement with Sevilla for the move of the French center back to Barcelona. Now as I reported in a previous video, Barcelona had initially considered offering Memphis Depay uh, plus some cash in exchange for Koundé given that Sevilla are asking for 60 million euros. While well, this option is no longer a viable one because the Pies representatives have insisted that the player does not want to leave Barcelona and if he does leave the club, it's going to be to another team that the Pie is interested in playing for. Well, it seems that Depay is not interested in playing for Sevilla, so new names have emerged as, po as possible options in a swap deal for Koundé. Now, these names are Abde, Nico, and Serginho Dest. Now as I reported previously, Serginho Dest representatives have insisted that the player wants to remain in Barcelona and Xavi is also keen on keeping the American right back. While in the case of Nico, as I've also reported prior, it seems that Xavi is also keen on keeping Nico in the squad because he wants to make him Sergio Busquets replacement who is expected to leave the club at the end of the upcoming season in the summer of 2023. So it seems that Abde is the only viable option in an exchange deal for Jules Koundé. So we will have to see how this operation will eventually turn out. 
But one thing is for sure, and that is that Barcelona will be sending their first official offer to Sevilla, and we expect a back and forth between Barcelona and Sevilla during these upcoming days uh, until a final uh, deal is reached for the transfer of Jules Koundé who has paused his negotiations with Chelsea and has made it very clear that he wants to move to Barcelona and he has even reached a personal agreement with the Catalan club. Now another player that soon might be arriving in Barcelona is Cesar Aspiricueta. Now as I've reported on many times before, Barcelona are trying to sign Aspiricueta from Chelsea to reinforce the right back position. While well, Aspilicueta has personally asked Chelsea to release him from his contract because he wants to move to Spain to be close to his family. Now Chelsea have agreed to honor the captain's wishes and have agreed to let him go for a small transfer fee that's reportedly around 6 to 7 million euros which is a figure that Barcelona are more than willing to pay. While there are reports saying that progress has been made uh, regarding this deal in these previous hours and days and that the deal is very close uh, to being finalized. So we expect uh, an announcement from Barcelona for, uh, of the signing of Cesar Aspilicueta in these upcoming days. Now an operation that has stalled and is not moving forward is the operation to transfer Frankie de Jong to Manchester United. Now as I've reported on many times before, Barcelona and Manchester United have agreed on an 85 million euro transfer fee for the Dutch midfielder. Now Barcelona are currently trying to convince Frankie de Jong to make the move to the English club because it would be very economically beneficial for Barcelona to offload Frankie. Because after all, Frankie de Jong is one of the highest earning members on the squad and by offloading him, Barcelona will not only be netting 85 million euros, but they will also be uh, clearing 60 million euros off their wage bill, giving them plenty of margin to register new players, including the ones they've already signed, such as Rafinha and Robert Lewandowski. While Frankie de Jong is insisting that he doesn't want to make the move to Manchester United, not only because he wants to stay in Barcelona, which he says is a childhood dream of his to play at, but also because he wants to play the Champions League, which is something that Manchester United currently cannot offer him. While there are new reports stating that the player has another concern about moving to Manchester United and that is the 24 million euros debt that Barcelona owes him from the deferred uh, salary that he agreed to back when the pandemic began. See under the previous president Josep Maria Bartomeu, the club's administration negotiated with the players a salary deferment when the pandemic first began in, uh, in an effort to try to keep the club afloat uh, given the sudden stop of income because of the lockdowns. While as Barcelona currently owe Frankie de Jong 20, 24 million euros in deferred salary and the Dutch midfielder is worried that if he makes a move to another club that he will have a hard time collecting that debt. Well, Manchester United have increased their offer and they're offering Frankie de Jong to pay what Barcelona owes him on top of the very high and lucrative salary that they're currently offering him. So it seems that Manchester United are very insisting on signing Frankie de Jong and they're willing to throw everything they got on a Dutch midfielder to try to sign him given the fact that their coach Eric Ten Hag who was Frankie de Jong's coach at Ajax really wants Frankie de Jong on his squad. Now as I reported previously, uh, Frankie de Jong's agent has began pressuring other clubs such as Chelsea and PSG to match Manchester United's offer because he wants Frankie to have more options in regards to his, ex to his exit, especially options that can offer him to play in the Champions League this upcoming season. So we will have to see how this operation will eventually turn out, whether Frankie de Jong will remain in Barcelona or, where, or whether he will make a move to a different club. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel for any new updates regarding the Dutch midfielder. Now on to the news that Barcelona are currently trying to sign Aston Villa's Carney Chukwuema. Now Carney Chukwuema is an 18 year old midfielder. He was born to Nigerian parents in Austria but currently represents England in their youth team. Now Chukwuema is described as a very um, versatile, powerful and explosive midfielder. He has a lot of promise and he's one of England's rising stars. And it's reported that Barcelona are currently in pole position to sign Chukwuema from Aston Villa and Aston Villa are asking for around 20 million euros for the young English midfielder. 
Now Barcelona are using the debt that Aston Villa owes the club for the move of Coutinho as part of the negotiations. So in other words, Barcelona will try to offer the English club around 8, maybe 10 million euros in cash and then pay the rest uh, by forgiving some of the debt that Aston Villa owes Barcelona for the transfer of Coutinho from Barcelona to Aston Villa. Now Barcelona are trying to sign Chukuema for the Barcelona B, B squad or Barcelona Athletic as they will be known next season. Now we will end today's video by briefly discussing uh, Dembele's contract with Barcelona after I posted yesterday's video where I explained all the contract details of Robert Lewandowski with the club. Some of you asked me, uh, messaged me asking me to discuss Dembele's new contract with Barcelona where Dembele's contract are, uh, are as follows. Dembele will uh, earn around 6.5 million euros net per season and his contract is performance based so his salary might end up increasing if he meets certain criteria such as playing a certain amount of matches, performing well during, during those matches, staying healthy and showing up early to trainings. Things that he has not done in the past. Now if Dembele meets these criteria, he could end up earning as much as 10 million euros per season. Now contract, now Dembele has signed this contract until uh, 2024, so for two years, and there is a 100 million euro release clause in his contract. So it seems that Barcelona were very cautious in drafting this contract. They wanted to put incentive to motivate Dembele to be professional, to show up on time, to take care of himself, to be healthy and to perform well. And they did it for a short period of time as to not to make the mis previous mistake where they had a player uh, stuck at the club for five years who was simply uh, not performing well. Now Barcelona also by putting that 100 million euro release clause in that contract they were making sure if Barcelona, if Dembele does end up living up to all his promise that we expected of him when we signed him from Dortmund then Barcelona would be able to renew him and if not uh, 100 million euros is uh, very much uh, a very doable figure for other big clubs who would look to sign him and then Barcelona would be looking at making a good chunk of the French forward. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I invite all of you to please leave a comment down below, giving me your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news regarding FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, Pisca Barça.